okay? And then I short the same circuit to ground as I did before. What do we notice about the scan data? Never changed. Five volts, zero volts to the computer. Open, sorted, what's the computer do? Substitutes a value, scan data doesn't change. So where is this test helpful, okay? Um, that's really, will bring us back to why we wanna be careful with this. This test is really helpful when you have a car that comes in and maybe you don't have all your equipment with you. You have a scan tool and you have a paper clip. That's all you need to check circuit integrity on this car. We have minus 40, okay? Minus 40 on the scan tool. We know coolant temp sensor circuit operation. That's really important. If you don't, um, shameless plug, uh, chapter, or, or Matt can teach you. Um, chapter six in my textbook is listed as thermistors. And so once I get you guys on my paid part of my site, you can click on chapter six and watch some lectures on thermistors and get a better understanding of how they operate. But knowing thermistor designs, I'll draw this one more time. This is inside the computer, this sensing circuit. Computer's watching right there. We're sending voltage this way. Minus 40 we said is what? What was the voltage? Five, all right, so tell me where we could have problems in this circuit other than the sensor. Of course we know an open sensor would give us five volts. So there should be two, two other ones that we could also have five volts. Bad ground, bad supply. Yes, bad ground, bad supply. So an open in the ground, right? An open in the supply. And I, I <clears throat> be careful saying bad because bad could also be shorted. Okay, but bad, you are correct. Open signal, open ground. All I have is my scan tool. Can I take a coolant sensor and jump my paper clip like this in there? Thermistor circuits, you can. No harm, no foul. Okay, I'm not gonna go down that path right now and talk about the difference. Can I do that? What do, what do I wanna see? I want to see that. If I see that, you're done. What do you need? Sensor's bad. You, got, you understand how I'm using the circuit integrity test? So if you're jumping it and it's getting that five volts to ground, why wouldn't it still be negative 40 then? Well, because it's now zero. So when I jump that, if the circuit's intact, good question, if the circuit is intact, this now travels straight to ground. This resistor, it will no longer be five. This resistor will drop all the voltage across it, and this will be zero now. And zero volts in that case is a high temperature on thermistor circuits. I want to see that temperature go from minus 40, which is open, and bury itself. If I see that, you're done. It's a circuit integrity test. We can use this in other locations too. Um, I have chapter 11 we can run through briefly uh, in my book, which is um, circuit, uh, or no, substituted values, I think. I think it's chapter 11. I, yeah. So I have other examples in there too, but this, this works here. Um, all right, so what if I have a I have to redraw that. What if I have a situation like this one and I have a maxed out number on my coolant sensor? Can I do the same type of thing? Yes, but I wouldn't want to use a paper clip and jump it because if you see a real high number, what are you thinking about the circuit already? It's not open, it's shorted, right? Chances of it being shorted are, well, it's probably the sensor, just like the open, probably the sensor. So what do you do in this case? Unplug it, very good. Unplug it, and what should that do unplugged? Unplug that sensor. If I'm at that number on the scan tool, and I unplug the sensor, and I see that, what do you need? You're done. Guys, think about that for a second. From a troubleshooting standpoint, you're looking at a problem on a car. You have scanned out in front of you. You just 
or you're like, okay, I know this circuit. I know how it operates. I'm just going to go under the hood and unplug it. You do that, you're done. Sweet. Money in the bank, right? That's pretty cool. That's what we're doing here with this circuit integrity testing type stuff. But what's the warning? What's the warning? I'm trying to do circuit integrity. I understand the, the stuff that you understand the stuff I was just talking about. We're trying to do it here. What happens? We're trying to use the scan tool 96 degrees with the circuit open, 96 degrees with the circuit shorted. I'm trying to do an integrity test. It's not working. I must have some kind of wiring problem is your first thought. No, you have a substituted value on the scan tool. 